Hello friends, welcome to this session of R Programming. And in this session, we are going to learn to plot bar plots with highlight. When I was searching through literature, I got this paper and in this paper, this plot was there. And I thought to recreate this plot. And uh, for that, I created the data and that data is like this. Residues are there and that delta is there. This is the X axis, this is the Y axis. And this data is saved at CSV in a folder with the name bar plots highlights this is the uh, data file now we'll start plotting that go to r studio and there we'll first import the data using set wd we'll set working directory i want to work in script set working directory and the path i will bring from the folder this is the folder or directory where my data is there I have copied the path and I will bring that to set working directory just this backslashes I will make double backslashes so that R will recognize the path that working directory has been set this is the working directory now I will read the data in the data frame df and that data is csv therefore the function I will use to read it read dot csv and the file name I will bring again from the folder and this is the data file name i'll copy this and i will paste that here dot csv is the extension run that and now i will see my file whether it has got read correctly or not head will show me six rows and it's proper we can ensure using tail function also tail df last six rows will be shown and summary run that now we'll start plotting and for that we'll require functions from library ggplot2 i will run that then i will call the function ggplot the data is coming from df and aesthetic mapping x and y axis i have to specify are these two residue number and delta i have copied that from summary and i'll put comma here this will not give me the plot i have to go for the geom and to get bar plot i will use geom call and this is the bar plot which i got we need highlight some of the bars and to know which bars needs to be highlight we'll go to the plot again this is the ninth bar and if we calculate this will be 10 11 12 13 14 15th bar it is this is 29th bar 9 15 29 and this is 32 33 bar 9 15 29 and 33 this we want and for that i have to subset the data and for subsetting i will use functions from library deployer the subset will be df sub the original data will be df and that data will be used as input for the function filter and in the bracket i want that residue number in because many filters i have to apply in c that 9 15 29 and 33 this four residue numbers i want to highlight and i have created the subsetted data for that we'll see that subsetted data and this is the subsetted data we'll add geom call again geom call and for that the data is coming from data is equal to df sub this shall be in the bracket i'll put that in bracket okay then i will have to have aes and this residue number and this is the same like this therefore i will copy this this aes put that here color shall be the red one red and we'll run that uh, it's not color it's fill sorry fill is equal to red and these bars are quite wide to control the width of original columns original bars also i will control width is equal to 0 0.7 and the same i will carry to the highlighted bars also width is equal to 0 0.7 bars are highlighted now this background will take care of will customize and for that we'll use theme black and white bw will run that 
the background is there we'll uh, get rid of this grids for that theme panel dot grid is equal to and that is element blank we don't want any grid therefore element blank will be there we'll run that uh, this plot is there but if you see here carefully this plot is not starting from zero and for that we'll use that axis scale underscore y continuous and expand is equal to c zero zero the y axis will start from zero zero now other things which we want that is this bar is touching this border therefore we'll remove that and for that we have to increase the y axis expand limits is the function for that y is equal to c 0 to 2 we will do that and we'll run that and the bar is there the next thing which we will modify is the ticks okay. here for each bar there shall be a tick but label of these ticks shall be this only uh, one zero shall not be there one ten twenty thirty forty if we look here we can see that to get that go here we'll create a labels x breaks sorry x breaks uh, this name i have given it's an arbitrary name x breaks is equal to 1 to 40 we'll run that now this 40 are there we'll just give them here plus scale x continuous x continuous breaks is equal to x breaks we'll run that there we have to remove the labels this 2 3 4 to 9 then 11 to 19 these labels we have to remove and for that we'll first create the vector tick labels you can have any name tick labels as dot character 1 to 40 these 1 to 40 labels are there we'll see those 1 to 40 labels are there we'll remove those labels which we don't want for that we'll subset this tick labels and this indexing there i want to get rid of 2 to 9 then 11 to 19 this is another vector then 21 to 29 31 to 37 i want that 38 and 39 to 40 the last ones we'll run that uh, no we'll make that labels empty space only we'll run that and we'll see the tick labels now how they look like 1 10 20 30 38 these are there and these tick labels now we'll use here labels is equal to tick underscore labels and we'll run that tick labels are there now uh, the remaining thing we have to change these labels for that these labels are uh, these greek letters are there and a little trick is required to get these tick letters pro properly we can't do that subscripting i have not learned how to do that subscripting but we'll do that straightforward that uh, these two deltas are there then uh, one superscript h is there 15 superscript is there then n and then ppm i will come here and there i will have labs y lab it that is y lab and there i will have expression expression inside that paste i want to paste many elements together the first one is delta and second is small delta we'll see how it looks like these two deltas are there now we want to have that superscript h but empty space is required before that and then superscript 1 in bracket uh, after comma in inverted quote h again then again a uh, empty space after that that superscript 15 and this superscript 15 will be with n and after that in bracket ppm this is the entire y label y lab we require and this y lab is there 
this x lab residue number also we will modify x lab in bracket that residue number so that the dot will not be there and we will run that residue number is there now we want that uh, label which is there here in the uh, panel plot panel and that label will copy from here I have copied that and I will bring that to my R studio and there I will use layer annotate and for that annotation geom will be text x value will be 13 y value will be uh, <coughs> 1.8 and label is equal to in inverted code the label which we have copied and we will run that now we'll see how that looks like we'll take care of the colors also sizes also and for that we have to go to the theme here that text is equal to element of element text and size will be 26 i will keep here it will not look good here but i will show you uh, it looks good when we zoom that plot size 26 color is equal to black and we'll run that to see the effect and when we zoom that we can see it's looking good and the color of this uh, tick labels also will take care of and for that we have to go again to the theme i will come to new, new line that axis dot text is equal to element dot text again and size is equal to we'll make that size is equal to 22 and we'll run that and we'll zoom that to see the effect and this uh, is not uh, looking good this label size of that uh, label shall also be this this we got from annotate and here i will keep size is equal to uh, nine or something this uh, this size attribute is actually different therefore we are using the size eight there and when we zoom that it will look good uh, the border size also we can take care of and again in the theme element we'll play with that border panel dot border element it is rectangle therefore we'll go here and color is equal to black and size also will play with size is equal to one and when we run that and when we zoom that we can see the plot and this plot is looking similar to the plot which is there in the article okay we'll put those side by side i have uh, done that in html i have rendered this uh, using r html rendered this using html this is how i rendered those together and when we run that we can see the plot like this these two plots are looking quite similar okay. we have created plots which is similar to the plot which we have we saw in the journal article thanks for watching this video if you have liked this video please click the like button and uh, if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel share this channel with your friends thanks